Abby did. <laughs> it's my project comeback dancing. <laughs> Abby, you're gonna wake your baby. I have been literally waiting almost a year to make this video. It is the official <laughs> first episode of Project Come Back. If you are not familiar with my channel or you have like been MIA for pretty much 10 months, I just gave birth six weeks ago to Fox who's sleeping just there. Stop yelling. Yeah, I'm probably talking too loud. I'll be documenting my whole project comeback series in terms of like what I'm eating, how I'm training, my lifestyle changes, and just like sharing my tips and tricks and struggles along the way because I'm sure I'm going to have some. But I guess before we get into the project comeback, here are a few frequently asked questions. Number one, I'm kind of sick of like justifying this and like disclaiming my project comeback. Obviously, you guys know I love Fox. My dream in life was to have a baby and I'm so grateful. I feel so hashtag blessed. I am so happy and I don't think there's anything wrong with wanting to get back on the bandwagon and regain your fitness and have goals in terms of fitness but also physique. So for me, I love project comebacks. I love feeling fit in the gym. I love feeling confident in my own body. Not that I don't feel confident now, but if I'm gonna be honest, I do. I love having abs. I like having lean legs. I like having lean shoulders and I like being fit. Just being honest. I make videos for you guys who want to learn some healthy and fit tips or just follow my journey with me, not for the haters. I really wanted to bring the camera the first time I went to the gym, but to be honest, I've been to the gym three times since having Fox, and that was because he was in a really fussy mood. You don't have to be here if you don't want. Oh, I don't know. I'm just like standing here supporting you. Okay because he was having a really fussy day and I fed him and I quickly ran off to the gym and I didn't have time to film it. Again, if you didn't follow my pregnancy journey, halfway through my pregnancy, I got a thing called SPD, which is basically a pelvic pain and I couldn't do hardly any exercises. Like I couldn't do squats, I couldn't do single leg exercises. So I was really just walking and like stretching and just chilling out for the last part of my pregnancy. So essentially I haven't worked out properly in over five months. So once you give birth, you have to wait for your doctor or physio's approval, which is six weeks weeks postpartum. So I'm finally, I'm actually seven weeks postpartum now. Another important thing to note is I did go to my doctor and my physio. We found out that I'm like a three out of five for my pelvic floor. So I do still have like control, but it's not like it used to be. However, some of the negative news or not so good news is I do have stage one prolapse. If you don't know what that is, don't really worry too much, but essentially it means right now my doctor and my physio don't want me to do any running, any high impact jumping. So for the next six weeks, I'm just going to be doing loads of pelvic floor exercises along with my training to try to strengthen up my pelvic floor and hopefully reverse or just help manage that prolapse. Again, if you don't know what prolapse is, I had no idea before pregnancy. Actually, before like three days ago, I had no idea. So don't stress too much. It's just at the moment, I won't be doing any running and things like that. I just have no fitness right now. I don't want to jump straight into like crazy burpees and box jumps. Number two, I'm not allowed to as per doctor and physio's orders. And number three, I feel like breastfeeding and sitting down and just not doing anything for six weeks really made me lose my muscle tone. Like even my butt, like I always have a butt. I feel like I have a pancake butt right now. The no. First... Yes. No. I feel like all my muscle has just disappeared and I don't feel strong anymore. So my goal going forward in terms of workouts and fitness is for at least the first three weeks, I'm kind of going like hashtag bodybuilder style, which is very, very unlike me. I kind of retract that. It's not really bodybuilder. I'm just kind of creating a split. So pretty much it means you pick a day, like a Monday, and Monday is your leg day. Tuesday is upper body. Wednesday is back. So it's kind of like you split up your week and you delegate each day to a certain body part. For me so far, the only three days I've been to the gym, that has worked really well for me because I'm doing slow and controlled movements, more resistance training, hardly any weight. A lot of it is just body weight because I do feel so weak going back into the gym. I feel like this is gonna be a really beneficial and healthy helpful project come back to so many people. You don't have to have just had a baby. This is also for girls who are just getting into the gym or you're getting back into the gym after like traveling or having a few weeks off the gym. So hopefully this can help you. But yeah, I really wanted to film my leg workout today, but I did glutes and hamstrings yesterday and they are so sore. Like the pain I'm feeling after the gym right now is like, I forgot that I used to feel like this when I first started at the gym. I haven't really worked out what I want to do. Maybe it's full body because everything's kind of sore. So I guess that is today, well, so I guess that is the gist of today's video slash like the next couple of vlogs. Well, this series is gonna go for months. Kurt is waiting patiently. We need to go and take Abby up to the vet because she keeps licking and scratching her paws. 
and we're gonna get a coffee. Oh, and my outfit, you guys, my outfit. I can finally say, I literally got the message this morning that my activewear collection is going back. It's restocking on the 28th of May. This is the 101 Daydreamers collection. This is the sweet and sassy tight. The all I do is brunch jumper. And then the 101 day, whoa, those milky tennis. <laughs> 101 daydreamers crop. All right. All right, let's eat, let's go. Not where let's go. I'm supposed to be. I'm going in circles, going in circles. I should get away from here. There's a better place for me. Better place for me. Trying to play so annoying. <laughs> Welcome to the jungle. Far out. What happens when you have boys? We are annoying. We should make worms everywhere. What the heck? This is disgusting. So she's laughing because she ran over my feet and she does this all the time. I open the gate for her like a nice guy and Sarah just goes Dug -dug -dug -dug, and just like looks straight ahead and then looks at me like Okay, okay because, because first time that I used the pram like I didn't have very good control I didn't know what I was doing and I accidentally ran over your foot and you were like, oh, you okay? That's okay. So now I just think I can always run over your foot and I don't care. I just go just <laughs> run over anything in my path. <laughs> You're on a path and someone has a pram. They rule. You move for them. So I feel like a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> mouse. Oh, the oh, self-entitlement the pram gives me. Oh, I love you're it. You're so self-entitled. <laughs> have to tell the people. I hate myself more than you hate me. <laughs> Guys, I'm trying to be so good with my keep cups and being more environmentally friendly, but honestly, I just, I forgot. Baby brain. Yeah. So I got a takeaway cup. It's I'm right. sorry. I, I didn't bring mine either. So. I'm just acknowledging and it's really bad on what my about part. the turtles? Think of the turtles. You think of the turtles. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I really am. I'm trying to be better with my keep cups and this is going to keep me accountable. Next time, I promise, when you see me on my vlog, get a coffee, I will have a keep cup. Will, all right, will all right. you? Yeah, of course I will. I've got like a hundred of them sitting at home. I have hundred and one. <laughs> no, you don't. It's good to go. Abby likes the vet. Don't you, mate? <laughs> yeah. she loves the vet. Oh, does she? Yeah. Abby is all good. Because of the change of weather conditions, oh. there's, um, there might be a lot more allergens on the grass when like, we're walking her and stuff. I don't know. Like father, like daughter. Kurt is an allergy ball. <laughs> and apparently... Tell, I'm, sni I'm sniffling right yeah. now. Abby just might have allergies to the grass. Anyway, I feel like my boobs are about to explode with milk. Seriously, I can feel myself lactating. You guys know I am normally a morning person, like a morning gym person. The first thing I do is I wake up, I have my coffee, I go to the gym. However, priorities change now and Mr. Fox, he needs me in the morning. He needs me for tummy time, cuddles, feeds, all that good stuff. <laughs> so now I kind of don't have a routine or a schedule right now, especially like he's only seven weeks. So the goal is I feed him and I go straight to the gym and it's kind of good because you have a newborn, you have to train. You can't dilly dally around, just fluff around. No, no, no time, no time for chatting no or being on your phone. I don't be on my phone. I just kind of like stretch for ages. Uh, yeah. <laughs> After walking, I feel like I'm going to have to do a full body workout because everything's kind of evenly sore. Like full body Tuesdays. That's what you're doing today, full body? Yeah. Alrighty, I like it. Hello. Right. Are right. you ready to feed? <laughs> nice. We've got a yummy milkshake. Hi, Fox. Is that yummy? He goes, Bleh. <laughs> Every time I don't have this on me, it happens. As you can tell, I'm in my breastfeeding chair. I just fed Fox which means now the clock has started and I need to get to the gym before he wakes up. I do like to feed him, have playtime, and then he sleeps because newborns, that's really all they do, just sleep. And one thing I really like to do before I go to the gym is I make a plan. So I'm old school, I like to physically write it down in a notebook. So when I go to the gym, I'm there with purpose. A lot of the time I won't have time to do every single workout I've written down, but at least I have a guide and a goal. Do you wanna try and have some more? So if you guys are familiar with my previous fitness routine, I never use machines. I hardly ever use weights or any kind of apparatus. It's all body weight or maybe sometimes with some dumbbells. But since having Fox, I'm, like I said, I'm going back in slowly. So weight loss right now is not my goal. I'm really just trying to build up my muscles again and sculpt my body. Sure, I'm all about cardio and HIIT, but you also need to do resistance training and strength to sculpt your body and build a booty and build those cap shoulders. Ideally, right now, I do like to go to the gym after breakfast or after I 
I've had like a proper meal. So right now Kurt is burping him. The clock is still ticking, so I'm like draining my own gym time right now. When he wakes up, need I need to, to feed him. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna have a quick snack just because I am hungry and I don't want to go to the gym on like an empty stomach, but not too full. We'll talk about nutrition when I get home. I'm going to have a tiny bit of prepped sweet potato. It's just been roasted in some salt and coconut oil. And then I might have a tin of tuna as well, just for a little hit of protein, you know? I know this seems gross, but I like it. All right, that is my little pre Oh, oops. So this is my pre-workout meal. I'm also going to bring to the gym my BCAAs, these branched chain amino acids. These are the best ones. This is from Chapika. So I drink these during my workouts because number one, it encourages me to drink water. I'm so bad at staying hydrated in the gym. This is my favorite flavor, raspberry. So branched chain amino acids are really good at keeping you energized throughout your workouts. If you've never used or heard of BCAAs before, this is a little benefit section. So just be careful with any supplements, especially when it's to do with like gym supplementation. There are so many products that are just full of chemicals and like ingredients that you've never heard of and you can't even pronounce. So my recommendation is if you can't pronounce it, you don't know what it is, don't put it in your body. So these ingredients are all real. I know what everything is. Fuel my workouts and give me more energy throughout the workout. No, there's no caffeine in it and it's not a pre-workout. It's an intra-workout. I have no idea where I parked my car, by the way. All right, I'm on my time limit. We really need to go. So for today's full body workout, I will be using the structure of a sweaty shredder, which is basically like the high intensity fat burning shredding workouts of both my ebooks, ebook one, sweat it shredder and ebook two, sweat it reload. So I do have a timer app. This is like the structures of all my workouts. So one's like a fat burner, one is a sculptor, one's a toner, one is a quick ab workout. So if you just click this, then it will talk you through the workout structure. So essentially this workout, it incorporates seven different exercises. So when you guys see me do the exercises, just keep in mind, this is the structure that I'm doing. my glutes especially after doing glutes yesterday and then doing the crab walks first oh it's a beauty burner I've gone from like zero to 100, like no cardio. Like that was just way too hard. I did two sets. I just felt like my form was slipping and I was gonna hurt my back. I would rather just not do that exercise and pick something that I can do with proper form. So right now I'm just doing my ab workouts that my physio gave me to just help redevelop my core again. So it looks really easy and to you guys it might be, but for me, because I haven't used my abs in so long, this is a really good ab workout for me. So I'm gonna do the rest of the sets doing abs instead of rows. Now for my final, oh jeez, I'm not used to working out with boobs, it's really weird. For my last exercise, 
size of the Sweaty Shredder. I'm gonna go onto the stair machine and as you guys know from Sweaty Shredders, it's like 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. So what I'm gonna do is do 30 seconds, more of an intense, like faster pace, not a run, because I'm not allowed to run. 30 seconds will be like booty burner and then 10 seconds will be just chilling out, getting my breath back. Again, I'm just listening to my body. If it's too intense, if I feel like I'm burning too much or like dying, then I'll just come back down here and do some abs and do some rehabilitation kind of exercises. But the workout's good so far. As you guys can see, I'm like red in the face. I am sweating. I'm feeling good. I feel like my form's good. I'm enjoying it. If any of you guys are OG subscribers, meaning from like a long time ago, do you guys remember that stair machine workout I uploaded onto my channel? It was just like the most intense fat burning stair machine workout ever. I'll link it up here or I'll link it in the description box below. If you're like a fitness weapon right now and a weapon on the stair machine and need a challenge workout, then definitely try that one because that's what I used to do like once a week. My goal is to work up to one of those kind of workouts, but that was like the peak fitness of my life. I don't think I'll ever get that fit again because I really spent so much time and effort in the gym and now I have a baby. I'm actually happier with my life so I don't feel the need to be in the gym for as long if that makes sense. That was like so challenging and I ended up not even really going that fast on 30 seconds. I was just kind of like chilling out. My booty is just burning from yesterday and the crab walks. If you start your workout with crab walks, that is the best way to activate your glutes. So if you're a person who is quad dominant and you find that squats hurt your quads more than your glutes but you want to grow your glutes, then definitely start your workout with crab walks and get the fire burning and get your body to realize that that is the muscle you're trying to work because my booty is on fire. Sorry to interrupt your episode one of Project Comeback, but I just realized this vlog is so long. Like I edited the entire episode and it's like over half an hour long. So I'm just gonna cut it here in half. So this is part one of Project Comeback episode one. And then part two will be up within a few hours because I'm gonna keep editing it now. So I hope you guys enjoyed part one. In part two, it's more about food and nutrition and I'll talk a bit about what I'm eating and you see my dinner and my lunch and a snack. And I've already started filming episode two, which is today because Project Comeback doesn't stop. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this entire Project Comeback series. I'm so excited about it. These are my favorite kind of videos to make and I'm pretty sure they're your favorite videos to watch as well. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, it really supports my channel. And make sure you subscribe because I upload new videos every week right now, but I'm trying to get a little bit better. But you guys will be spoiled with a double video this week because part two will be up in just a few hours. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.